Pixar is a studio that is not known for making good movies. It's a studio that's known for making absolutely amazing movies. With the release of its debut title, Toy Story, they have consistently released powerhouse films that adults and children alike have adored. More recently, they released a trifecta of titles that were massive successes. Toy Story 3, Up, and WALL-E. Cars 2 was the first big notable change for the studio, in which people were worried about the direction Pixar was headed. With the release of Brave, some people are growing more worried. However, after seeing the movie and having had some great conversations with my wife, I don't think there's much to worry about. While I don't feel that Brave was the best of the movies, I don't believe the shortcomings that people have felt are due to Pixar's incapabilities, but rather the direction of the film itself. If you followed the reviews from the film, you've most likely seen the same arguments emerging. The film looked amazing, but the story was not up to par. Some reviewers ask whether or not Pixar has lost its touch. Others believe that after the meteoric success of their past titles, Pixar was bound to fall short of the unattainable bar that they had already set. The reasons stated for the shortcomings of the film range from poor slash changing directors, bad scripting, the use of the quote princess story, a predictable story, the move away from the present day or futuristic time periods, and even the lack of a good ensemble cast. While I may agree with some and disagree with others, I feel that the quote failure of the story comes from something much more fundamental. If you take a look at the Pixar films to date, what makes them truly great is that each of them, with the exception of Cars 2, deals with a very primal human emotion. They each tackle experiences that are a part of being a human that everyone will go or has gone through. Toy Story deals with the concept of growing up and leaving childhood behind. A Bug's Life tackles the desire of being different and unique. Monsters, Inc. is how to manage and overcome fear. The Incredible studies the idea of retirement and not being needed. Ratatouille is finding where you fit in. Up is the experience of conquering the grief from the loss of a loved one. Wally is the most simple but also the most complex. Love. So on and so forth. Each of these base ideas and concepts are absolutely unavoidable as human beings. We all experience these issues throughout our life, if we haven't already. It's because of this that each of these movies creates such a deep sense of connection and catharsis within each of us. Now, this is not to say that Brave is incapable of bringing these emotions out in us, but I did not feel the same connection to the story or the characters that I've had with the past films. The strongest moment was at the very end, but even then it felt a bit forced. Why is this? I believe there are several reasons why it didn't work, but the biggest comes from the choice they made for the primal human experience. In Brave, the core value they address is destiny and fate. While they are not bad values, they are not inherent to everyone's life, and because of that, our universal connection to the film is lost. Many people out there believe in fate and destiny. Many others do not. Where you fall on that decision is neither right nor wrong, but what it means is that these concepts are no longer primal human experiences. The film loses its primary cathartic method and splits the audience. This loss essentially means that some people will understand, but others won't. What happens is that the film then falls back on the relationship between a mother and her daughter. Again, this can bring great emotion and connection for some of the audience. However, the connection a son has with his mother can be very different. Let's also not forget that some daughters may not have a mother to identify with. The movie again falls into the same trap of using a scenario that is not universal to all of the audience. Some may argue, and others already have, that this problem is remedied by the idea of a family reuniting. Again, while this can be a very powerful tool to create emotion, it's still not a guaranteed experience for all people. It's also worth mentioning that the film doesn't develop the characters of the father or the triplet boys enough to really bring that idea full circle, thereby causing it to feel rushed and forced. The lack of this core issue and concept affects the entirety of the film itself. It's what's missing from the equation that has made Pixar the powerhouse that it's known for being. However, let me say for the record, Brave is a good movie and I will most certainly purchase it the day it releases on Blu-ray. But the film doesn't hold to the story standards that we've come to know and love. My hope is that Pixar will be able to find and reestablish contact with the fundamental issues of being a human, for it's there that we know that they strike movie gold.